Hey guys, I'm Dr. Dave Pena, and today I'm going to talk about the five most used items I carry around for Marie after about a year and a half of having my cattle dog. Hey guys, I wanted to kind of go over the pieces of equipment um, and gear that I've crewed and use a lot um, for my Australian cattle dog Marie over the past year and a half. It's been about a year and a half. She's not my first dog, but I guess things have changed since my last dog and the sort of things that I've utilized a lot have are not exactly what I thought they would be. And I thought maybe it would be useful for you, uh, the viewer, to kind of see what what I use. And maybe if you're if you know if you're thinking about buying a dog, um, you, you could just buy these things straight away and not mess around with other pieces of equipment that you're probably not going to use very much. My list will be in order of the least useful to the most useful and also like in the things that I use the most amount of time I'll put it at the very top of my list and the things that I use maybe not as much or maybe are more obvious I put at the bottom or more optional I put at the bottom. Number five, this is number five, is this Kurgo harness. I think this is probably something you probably should get and you'll find with a cattle dog because of their very broad chest. Uh, a lot of the harnesses don't fit quite right. Uh, like they're too, their chest is like a bigger dog chest, but their frame is a smaller dog uh, for a smaller dog. So a lot of harnesses don't fit right except for these Kurgo harnesses. And the most important thing about the harness that you want to, if you get a harness, that you want to make sure about is this handle. That's why I got it. And the reason for that, and this is why I think this might be optional, I mean, you could just use her collar or whatever most times, is that um, this is very important for hiking. Um, if you're hiking in a place where there are ledges, cliffs, or anything like that, where your dog can slide off, or, <clears throat> or you need to grab your dog very quickly, you need this handle. It's not really about this harness being better for the you know, control of your dog like behaviorally. It's more about your dog's safety and being able to control your dog immediately and get your dog out of trouble very quickly by just grabbing the harness and lifting your dog up. That's why you want one. So if you, get a, if you do get a harness, um, you wanna make sure that it has a handle there are a lot of harnesses that don't have handles. They're just sort of meant to like, I don't know, for like sled dogging on the street. And maybe you don't want to do that. And that seems sort of silly. But if you go hiking, which I do, uh, you want to have a harness with a handle on it. Number four. Number four is um, this quick release on the collar. And um, collar seems obvious, right? Obviously you want a collar, but um, in Los Angeles, most of the dog boarding or daycare places, if you choose to use their services, require you to use a quick release collar. Uh, this one's made by Kong, and she it's, it fits nicely on her and it um, has a nice uh, bit of uh, protector on the inside to kind of keep from rubbing or like pulling too hard on her neck um, just in normal use uh, but quick release the quick release is really what you're after uh, and they say at the daycare that it's important because they need just in case the dog gets stuck somewhere um, they can I guess by the collar they could quick release the collar it's why it's lower on my list you obviously need a collar <laughs> but the fact that it has to be quick release is something that I didn't know. Number three. Now the third thing um, that I think is super useful is this doggy, doggy dish. And I got this one, I think it was Petco or you can find them online. They're really cheap. Um, it's just a collapsible dog dish. Campers actually use it, um, and hikers use it, something like this um, for hiking. They're very lightweight, it's very lightweight, very packable. It can go on your belt, it can go on your bag, it can go anywhere you want 
um, with your dog. You can even probably go on your, on her um, harness. You can use a carabiner pretty easily. And I use this thing basically since she was a small puppy, just walking her to the park and getting her water at the fountain and then giving her the water that way. Or if I brought her water, I had a water bottle, you know, um, when it's really hot and you're outside and you're hiking somewhere, uh, you have no real way of collecting the water for your dog to, um, to drink it. You can do it in your hand, you can do it with a pour, but if you're rationing water or you're like low on water, you don't wanna be wasting a bunch of water. You're gonna waste water doing this anyways, but it's gonna be a lot less than trying to like, just make a stream for your dog, for your dog to like lap at. Um, this is super useful. I take, like I said, I take it everywhere. I take it even to people's houses when I'm trying to um, feed her. You know, it's not just for water. You could use it for dog food or whatever. You take a little baggie of dog food and you just drop it in there. It works really well. I highly recommend you getting one of these things. Number two is her kennel. And I've never, I mean, I've had kennels before, obviously. Um, the dogs would sleep in the kennel. Um, Marie doesn't really sleep in her kennel, but uh, she can sleep in her kennel. And I thought, because that was an early behavior that she didn't really want to be in her kennel that we would actually not really use the kennel. But realistically, we almost use it every day and we definitely use it on trips that we've gone where we've, you know, Airbnb places, we bring the kennel, the kennel collapses very easily into a square that I can carry around like luggage basically and just drop it and set it up anywhere I'd like to. And at an Airbnb where you're trying to protect other people's stuff and or your dog is being a little bit rowdy and um, there's other people you need to you know, set, uh, separate your dog from, you can easily stick your dog in that kennel and she's safe and she's not gonna do anything to anybody. It also works in the car. Um, I've never really set up the kennel in the car but you can set up a kennel in the car and lock her in there and she's not gonna do anything. Yeah, the kennel has been more useful than I was expecting and we've taken it all up the Southern California coast, probably gonna take it all the way to Texas with us on a road trip we're gonna take in a week or so. And I highly recommend that you're getting cattle dogs, you get a kennel. Number one. Okay, the most used item that I have, oddly, the one that I use every single day, multiple times a day, is this ammo bag. And uh, I got this, I don't know, like 10 years ago. I wasn't using it for anything. Uh, for At the time, it was just to hold stuff because I didn't want to carry a big bag around. And um, it had, like the ammo bags you can get on, 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 on Amazon, they have, um, uh, something for you to connect it to molly webbing and the my day pack the pack that I used to, to hike for you know 10 well I guess it's like 15 or less miles is a, a backpack that has molly webbing on it so I could connect this bag to that that bag um, whenever I want I could take it off I could wear it any day of the week just like around my neck and I carry like her balls and um her balls and you know, poop bags. Uh, and in this front compartment, I'll put in her leash. It rolls up right in there. And when she was a puppy, she had little balls, which probably should are done, done those now. And she had, and this is not useful anymore, but it's like bad girl spray. Braider. She did something naughty. And oh, there's a golf ball in here. I don't know why. Food. So when we go to like people's houses, we always have food. Um, and you could use that as treats, I guess, if you wanted to. If you're a treat person. And I guess Alyssa put a little baggie of treats in there. I'll probably clean that up. But we don't think about it, you know, 
Uh, you just put all the stuff you want your dog, you know, your dog generally uses in this bag. And whenever you go outside, just grab the bag. And you don't worry about getting the um, little baggies or anything like that. If you don't even want to grab the bag, you, you already know where the poop bags are. You just grab one bag and put it in your pocket and walk out the door. Of all the things that I use, this bag, this, this uh, trail bag is probably the most useful. All right, guys, that was my top five uh, gear items. Marie, you gotta stop. <laughs> all right, guys, that was my top five gear items. Hopefully you found this useful. Um, we just hit a thousand subscribers, so thank you very much for subscribing. If you like the video, please subscribe. Um, there's still a few more videos I wanna do. Um, if you have ideas, this one in particular, this video is for you, Walter. Uh, you said you wanted a basics video and what was in my bag, and I told you, so um, there you go. Thanks, guys. Um, have a great day. I'll see you on the next video.